Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to yet another Teak Hinter Mega Series tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how we're going to acquire the data um, as well as eventually start plotting up the data on these subplots that we've set up. So, um, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So, we've got the subplot set up. Um, and then basically you're going to come down and we're still writing basically underneath this try right here, but in line with else. So basically at the end of this, you could hit enter, right? And then you delete and then delete one more time. And now you're where you want to actually begin the code. So first, uh, we need to acquire the data. And as I keep saying, uh, we're going to be using the CFBDC API. And so that will normalize all of the data for us. Um, so it makes it a lot easier. So anyways, the data um, is uh, going to be pulled from, and we're going to use url lib.request.url open. And then we're going to open the following link, http colon slash slash cfbdc.com slash API slash basic um, slash price. Uh, and then our first parameter here, so question mark, uh, key equals one. And uh, so the next parameter with the and sign here, TF for time frame equals, uh, and then we're going to do a plus data pace. Okay, and then plus, and now we're be going back into string form here. Uh, and, where's our and sign? And the exchange that we're interested in is equaling, and then we're gonna do plus uh, program, program name, so the, the name of that exchange in our program. And then finally, dot read. So URL lib .url, or URL lib .request .url open. This uh, basically this is all the URLs. So for example, it would be uh, TF equals one day and exchange equals BTCE. Okay. Um, so this and then read those results. Now, <clears throat> just like before in my GitHub code, I have not properly decoded. So let's go ahead and fix that right now. So data equals data dot decode. And that is better than what I was doing before. <laughs> and then now we're going to say data equals uh, JSON dot load string. So loads data. Then um, our date stamp of this data equals NP dot array of what data zero. So the first if you know, it's a basically a list within a list. Um, and then we're going to say dot as type, and we're converting this to data date time 64 s. Okay, so that's our date stamp. And now we're going to convert that to a list. So date stamp equals date stamp. Oh, my goodness, that to list. Okay, so I'm just going to condense uh, these together. Now uh, we're ready to use our pandas data frame to manipulate uh, all of this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say df equals pd dot data frame, and then in the parameters curly braces uh, date time. Ah, oh, got myself lost. Colon uh, date stamp. Now. Uh, we're going to define the columns here. Uh, so the price column, so df price is equal to data one. Okay. Df <clears throat> volume is equal to data two. So that's why we were having volume on Huobi, even though there is no volume. Uh, df symbol, just in case we support other. Um, other forms of currency besides just Bitcoin, we could do Litecoin, Feathercoin, whatever. Uh, but we'll say BDC USD for now. We'll just hard code it, and then DF uh, MPL date. Now we have to create this, so we'll say uh, MPL date equals DF um, date time uh, dot apply, and then we're going to use a lambda function again. So lambda date colon m 
dates dot date to num and this will be dates dot two underscore pi date time uh, let me get all of that line into view if you're behind a little bit uh, catch up <clears throat> okay uh, so that's MPL date and then finally we're gonna say DF equals DF dot set underscore index and we're gonna set the index to that date time okay now uh, what we're gonna do is set up our open high low close um, information now I don't believe we've actually got open high low close imported so let's go to the very very top here and we do not so uh, shortly not in this video but in the coming videos we're going to be plotting using candlestick charts so the traditional open high low close so to do that we're going to go from matplotlib.finance import candlestick underscore ohlc for open high low close now that we have that let's get back to work I'm doing a control F and then typing in animate here, enter, scroll down to where we are coding here, um, and we're ready to rumble. So uh, now we're going to write some data to generate open high low close. So we're going to say OHLC equals DF price. And what we're going to do here is do something called resampling with. Uh, with pandas and this is something that's actually built in to pandas and pandas functionality so what it allows you to do is take a data set and resample that data set based on your own parameters or some of the built-in parameters in uh, pandas just so happens that pandas actually covers open high low closed data so and has something built in for us so it's really really quite simple so uh, open high low close we're defining a new data frame basically equals DF price dot resample and um, dot resample and we resample it with the resample size fancy that how equals we want to resample it with open high low close resample size if you forget that is what is defined by our date size right so if we say or our, our actual our window size I guess so uh, we want five minute bars that is Go straight into this built-in pandas functionality, and it will resample our data for open, high, low, close based on five-minute windows. For if we threw that to it, so once we've got that, we're going to do uh, open, high, low, close dot uh, or open, high, low, close equals open, high, low, close dot drop na. And what that does is drop any non-numbers. So not a number, it is going to drop those, it gets them out of the way, they're very messy and they cause problems. So we're just going to do that. Next we're going to say uh, volume data equals df volume. And then we're going to also resample volume because we have to resample volume to match the open, high, low, close bars uh, that we have. So we're going to say df volume and we're going to do dot resample sample um, and then we're going to resample according to the resample size and then the question is how how are we going to resample these well how is the best way to resample volume data so with volume data since we're using open high low close would it be better to like push all that data together and do an average or are we actually you would want the, the full number right so we want to take all of the volume data for those five minutes and we want to sum them together so when you do how you say uh, volume colon um, sum and that will add all of the volume together notably you can do all kinds of stuff obviously you can do open high low close you can do average you can do all kinds of crazy stuff uh, with resampling so anyway um, that's volume data <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and say um, OH low close um, uh, we're gonna make a I guess make a date copy here so we're gonna say OH low close date copy uh, equals OH low close dot index and then we're gonna say OH low close um, 
MPL dates so we can actually plot this madness equals OHLC of uh, date copy because we can't necessarily apparently reference just the index uh, dot apply lambda and then date and then basically this code that we've, we've done already before uh, right here so let's just go ahead and copy that paste and then um, and then we're gonna get rid of that date copy that we have because we just don't need it anymore so Dell OH low close date copy then we basically need to do the same same thing with volume data okay so we have to do volume and in fact um, let's go ahead and uh, let's just copy this so highlight everything copy come down paste and replace OHLC with volume data take this copy paste 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 and that should be uh, satisfactory nice so now we're going to say uh, price data equals OHLC uh, close dot apply float dot to list uh, and in fact we have not I don't think incorporated price data into the um, right into our uh, tick data yet um, I'm not really I'm trying to think if it's really truly necessary but um, it's good to have it there so let's copy that and we're gonna go up to our tick data really quick and we need to add that um, to each of our exchange data sets so uh, just basically at the end of all of our data sets um, we want to have uh, price data equals and then um, this will be df price uh, dot apply uh, float to list. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing uh, with the other tick data sets here. So this paste df price. Okay. Um, and wait, come back down here to this one. See, this is DF price. Uh, we're saying DF price. I can't remember if it was DF or actually should it be data. Should be data uh, for for the rest of these. Price data equals data uh, price. So scroll up now for bit stamp paste, and then finally for BDCE paste. So we're pasting in this price data. We're not using it yet but we are going to use it um, down the road I'm not really sure we'll use it for tick data but we, we might so that's there um, coming back down where we've defined now price data uh, for the open high low close information um, at this point we're pretty much ready uh, to, to plot um, or at least start throwing this throwing the data at uh, our graph so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll cut off the video here and we'll continue in the next video uh, with uh, clearing and, and starting to write our actual plotting code now that we have the data. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.